Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co, and today I'm unboxing and rambling with Vindication Archive of the Ancients. It's a decently sized box, although at the end of the day, there is behind this over here, we got a little bit of a cardboard thing. I honestly, I have no idea how this is packed. We're going to dive into it. I got some sleeves off to the side. We're going we're gonna to jump into this, but it's first, as usual, coffee shot, oh, and of course my knife, which by the way, fun fact, I love these guys, both because they are efficient and fun, and also because they're like eight bucks, which is great because twice now I've gone through TSA and forgotten that I had a knife with me when I traveled. It's fun turning to the TSA agent and be like, hey, I'm not actually trying to do anything to this plane. Here's my knife. Enjoy. Throw it out by all means, because that's what they do. They throw them out, which is annoying. But it's a $9 knife, so what you going to do? Anyways, let's go ahead and dive into this. This is Vindication Archive of the, Anci uh, Archive of the Ancients from Oneb, Orange Nebula, who, by the way, have Spirit Fire happening soon. Spirit Fire, which I'm very excited for Spirit Fire. Actually, not, that's not true. I think I'm excited for Spirit Fire. I have to know more about it to be excited for it. Right now, I'm just excited because Oneb has done Unsettled and Vindication, two of my favorite games. By the way, I'm pretty sure I forgot to put Unsettled in my top 100 games of all time because I, I, I didn't have it on my lists, so it wasn't it didn't make the cut because of that. At least I think it didn't. So next year, Oneb. It'll be there next year. Trust me on this. But anyways, going into this, this is Vindication. And that is a child. That is a child. Alexa, turn on Side Door. Let's see if it goes on. Don't know if we'll go on. The side door is off, unfortunately. So this is going to be an unboxing and rambling, like I mentioned already. There's going to be a lot of chaos. There might be a small child wandering on. He's very good, but not coming down when the side door light is on. There's a red light that I have that goes up on the door, but I don't know if it's going to go up right now. So we'll find out. We'll see. Also, like I had a video recently. I had to like edit it. I don't mind doing the like the chaos where I'm like, hey, let's just talk to my my kid, my kids, to address the noise in the background. Sometimes it's all good. Other times I'm not prepared for it. And like mid review of DEI, if you watch my DEI video, you'll notice a, you'll notice a cut because I did a there I did the video and there was an interruption of uh, children and people coming in in the middle, and then I meant to cut it out properly and I couldn't, so I had to like do a YouTube cut which aren't as clean unfortunately. So there's a random cut in the middle of the video. Which, you'll, you'll notice it. It's just because I got interrupted and I wasn't embracing the chaos. This is Vindication. The Archive of the Ancients. A video I wasn't even sure if I wanted to unbox because I honestly... Vindication is mostly like cards as far as I'm concerned. It's mostly cards and what's not cards uh, is like stuff miniatures you don't really use. Or at least that's been my experience with it so far. Now, let's go ahead and find out what's in here because I know there's a Devin L. Norris who's very excited about this because he's getting my copy of Vindication as soon as... As soon as this is here, like, which is, it, it, it's here. That's what this box is, that, that this is here. So, let's go ahead and show you some things. Let's see what we got, because then I can go ahead and ship Devin my copy of Vindication that he has been waiting so very patiently for. So, we have these over here. I imagine there's stuff going in here. I have no idea how this is sorted. There's a part of me that's terrified. What if this is an empty archive of the ancients? What if this is an empty archive of the ancients, and my stuff is, like, What's in here? What's in here? Let's, oh, that's that's heavy. This might be metal. I wonder if this stuff is metal, because this has a degree of heft to it. This is, let's see what's in here. There's not metal. This is just punch board. Punch board and cardboard and things. Let's see what we've got here. We have to figure out how this all gets sorted together, but we can go ahead and open this up. You can see what we've got here. we got these. These look nice. They're all fine. I'm going to put these to the side. Put these to the side. I'm going to grab all these. Half the stuff I don't know what it is because I know how to play Vindication, but that's where my knowledge caps out. Vindication. Not the expansions, not the, the extras, barely even the modules, honestly. But we're going to have a whole bunch of things here that apparently this is all the punch board that has to go into the various modules. I hope there's a guide, dear lord, because I have no clue what I'm doing. Maybe there's a guide online. There's probably a guide online. Then we have this over here, which is going to be all these pieces. So let's move this off to the side and figure out how everything goes together because I... I have no idea. Villages and Hamlets regions, that's a more of a information. So we got this over here. These will be some of your punch boards and your things that are all falling apart. I'm gonna have to go through. This is gonna be the least interesting unboxing ever. I don't know if I'm gonna do this. Why am I doing this? This is like just just punch board after punch board of things. Let's see how we can do this. Let's see if we can make this work. Because the problem with doing some games is some games are like chock full of miniatures and extras and all fun things that make for a very fun unboxing. Others are like, here's cardboard and a bunch of trays to put them all in. Let's see if we can make this interesting. So, I assume there's cards in here. Because if there's not cards in here, then we don't have cards. Because we got an extra an empty tray over here, which punch board goes in, I assume. We have a tray over here, which punch board goes in, I assume. We have a tray over here, which punch board goes in, I, I assume. We have this giant box of maybe cards. Nope, we got various components in here various components dice and things and stuff we'll go we'll go through this in a second we we'll have to figure out how we do this this video might instead 
be adjusted to like how you organize vindication. And this, which feels like cards because of the sheer heft of it, here we go. Here's our cards. Here's some of our cards. Maybe most of our cards. There's a bunch of cards. There's card packs. There's things in here. There's stuff. It all looks good for right now. We'll have to sleeve some stuff. This is going to be an entirely separate video than what I planned on it being. Then we have over here. I feel like there should be metal bits. Doesn't Vindication have metal bits? What am I missing? Are there metal bits in here? No, this feels way too light to have metal bits in it. No, no. Vindication air. Oh, no. There are metal bits. We have indeed our metal bits. See these over here? So I'm just trying to think through how this all works and what this all looks like as far as how it fits together. So, let's put this off to the side. Let's grab this. And let's show you what the inside of the box kind of looks like. Again, things are chaos here. This is what the inside of the box looks like for Vindication. These are going to be our bottom two trays for, I guess, various character stuff, as well as our miniatures, which we'll show you in a second. But things are a bit crazy over here. The miniatures are nicely out of the way. I do like that. Let's see if we can show you miniatures and then figure out the rest. Also, I need coffee because this is this is not going the way I wanted this unboxing to go. Like, me organizing Vindication, not the worst. Trying to guess and figure out as you go, more so the worst. But let's go ahead and show you stuff. So... We got this over here. This guy's gonna be this guy. What's like little rock monster dude. He's gonna go there. And we have these two over here, which more of these. I've never like used these miniatures ever, I think. Or at least I don't recall using them. And these are like required, I guess, because it's a Kickstarter game and that requires miniatures, maybe. I don't buy into that, but I, I do understand that people want miniatures, myself included, but I want miniatures that matter, not miniatures that don't. And one of my complaints about Vindication has always been, I have a bunch of miniatures, and to this day, I still have no idea when and how they are used, for the most part. I'm sure there's modules and situations, but I have a box full of miniatures, and I got no reason to use them, which is less fun than you might think. We got these over here. Let's go show you these ones. This one's like, this one's a cool one. I like this one. But again, you need like a reason for it to exist, which right now, maybe it is. Maybe somewhere. Somewhere. Over the rainbow. Am I putting it back correctly? I think so. Okay, this one goes like this correctly. There we go. And these two. I think I may have used this one one time. Maybe, I don't remember. But yeah, these are the we have as far as miniatures. And that's that's all the miniatures. We're done with the miniatures. Now we can move on to the actual game, which is the, the best part over here. So, those are out of the way. And now we need to figure out where these go over here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to push everything off to the side. And we're going to do the best we can to see if we can make this work. Now, I don't know how everything goes, but I'm going to start with the rule book because the amount of times that I have somebody in the comments saying, look at the rules, look at the rules, Alex, it happens a lot, okay? Or even the side of the box or some other place. So I'm going to start with what's there. This looks like more of the player trays. Yes, indeed. So we're going to put these off to the side like so. We're going to get to these all very quickly, maybe, possibly. And we're going to see if the rules have what we need because there's a vindication. We have a unified rule book and visual guide which I probably should have started with. This looks pretty cool. This has a unified, I like the idea of a unified rule book. We have the base game setup. We have this over here. Or is there a section that shows me how everything comes together? Because that's what I'm looking for here. Oh, 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 we're in luck. We are in luck. We are in luck, I think. Okay, this shows you how everything goes into the board. It also shows you how individual player trays function. So we have the player trays here. So let's go ahead and grab a player tray and see what we can make work with this. This is our player tray. These are our little visual things, Majiggies. We should put off the side. And now we need to grab the stuff that goes into the player tray, which means we need our boxes over here. Honestly, by the way, right about now, I'm going to say this video is going to be less of an unboxing. I'm supposed to talk about Vindication at some point, and that's just not going to happen right now because I'm too focused on this. But we're going to go ahead and just start assembling stuff and putting things together. And you can hang out for the, the ride or not. I'll do my best. I'll see what we can make, make work over here. These go, these probably need metal things on them. Okay, so we need metal things over here. We need our dice. Do the dice go on there too? I don't know if the dice go in there. I'm not seeing a die in there. I'm not seeing the dice as being in there. So we're gonna grab this over here. We're gonna do a, a full unboxing of everything. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and dump things out and just deal with the consequence. We got a um Let the Dead Past Bury Let the Dead. What? Let the Dead Past Bury its Dead? I'm not entirely sure I'm getting that. But we got all these. Let's put this off the side to a degree and see what we can put in here. So we have these, which will require our little metal bits over here, which means we need our little metal bits over here. Our little metal bits require a few things over here. We're going to need our character standee. Let's try not to knock any coffee over. That's a big deal here. And we're going to just work through this. We're going to struggle through it. I hope you're fine with that because that's what's happening at this point. Now, is there specific colors for specific things? I don't remember. 
unfortunately. But this on the back over here shows that particular symbol, which almost looks like a spaceship type thing, which doesn't really match any of these necessarily. I don't know if it's meant to do anything. Nope, that's not what it's meant to do. Are there colors to the factions? That's the part I don't remember offhand, because that could be green over there. Let's see if we can get the various... There's going to be so much stuff going on here. This is going to be messy. It's going to be messy. Work with me here. Okay, we have our treachery tiles over here, which are... These are card dividers, so we don't need those. Not yet. We probably need some things from over here. There's so much. So we have you, the wretched, guilt within scumbag. Is there a color to this? Or not? I don't know if there's a specific color. We're just going to do the best we can. This is going to have to rotate around like so. Okay. Then this is going to go into there somewhere. So we're going to dump this in here, which needs to have some cubes in there, which means you need our cubes first. So we're going to grab our cubes. We're going to take this bag over here and dump this into there. So this is going to come out. These are going to go in here, like so, like so, like so, like so. And this is going to go in there. And boom, we're done with number one. Number one's done. That's going to be that picture there. Then we need to grab some of these over here, which we have more of these. I don't know why we have more of these. We just have like two bags. Let's go ahead and just rip it open because it's going to be faster. Putting them down over there. This over here looks like it's part of something. We'll dump that back in there. We now have our, our pieces over here, which I just dumped. Here we go. We're going to put this off to the side, and this off to the side, this off to the side, this off to the side, and these off to the side. So we got our metal bits. We have our player bits over here, which can go here. Then we have our little tokens here. We're going to need these two because these are also going to be part of the little trays we put in. At some point, I'll actually talk about Vindication, but when I need to finish, finish the first player tray, get that locked in, find the punch board bits, and then start figuring out what goes where. So we're going to put this over here. It's going to be a, a punching at the end of the day. So, Vindication. Vindication, one of my favorite games. I've enjoyed it for a long time since I first got it. Uh, it's a game system I've thoroughly... I just like the puzzle of what's happening here. So you can the puzzle, we're going to need characters. We're going to need the various mounts that go in here. Okay, so now that I finished all that, I, I felt, I started by just talking through things, and I was like, this is way too much just punching of things, so we're just going to go ahead and speed up while we punch through things. Let's come back to this over here. So, I think we got some progress, because I've actually found all the bits that I went through them, which means we have our orange bits. The orange bit, by the way, does have the specific axe situation, which I don't know if it's necessarily going to try to have over here, but it looks like we do. It looks like we have the axe situation, so if you see here, that's going to be, I don't know if I'll focus, there we go. That axe symbol is going to be the orange symbol, which you can actually see on the piece over there, had I seen that at the time, which means this is going to go in here. This is going to go in here like so. We're going to have the, uh, that one's going to go here. So we put those two in there. We have these over here. We need this over here, and we need this over here. We're also going to need some triangle pieces, which I don't see them over here. That's where we're missing something. So we probably need, oh, here we go. Here's our bag full of pieces that we thought we're missing, but we're not. I'm going to dump those over there, put this into our pile of stuff, and this into our pile of stuff. We have these, now we can utilize. So, we're going to toss the... One of these does not... I think that's a mistake. I think this... So, I'm not certain here, but the fact these two don't show something on either side. This one does. So, that's either a mistake in the indicator here, because this one shows all of them having them, or it's a mistake in the actual components. I do not know which one's which. We have this, we have this, we have that. That's all going to go over there. We should have... We should have this on this, it looks like. So this should be in this, like so. And this guy should be in that, like so. So you have the pieces in the little, um, well, pieces. Then we have this, we have that. We're going to need our player, which, again, I don't know if there's a specific one over here. Does it have specific symbols? I don't think so. I don't think there's specific symbols on these. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab one and put it in. And maybe it's the wrong one, and that's okay. We can always swap it out later if I need to, or if I care enough. 
going to put that here, that there, that there. And I think it's going to be the start of a punch board box, but I feel like there's one more thing here I'm not seeing. There's going to be this over here, which needs to go in there. And we also need our specific player tray over here, which actually this, we're going to have two of these. So we're going to have the player tray. We need that. Here we go. This over here is going to go in here like so. And then the box cover is going to go on top like so. Okay, so we're going to grab that box cover from earlier and put these off to the side. And on top of the box cover, box cover rests this on top like so. And I think that's what a completed box tray looks like. So now with that, we're going to go ahead and complete the other box trays, which we can do so much more quickly, much more quickly, much quicker, much more quickly. Either one seems to be fine with me. No cards in there, so nothing needs to be sleeved. Sleeving I'll probably do later. I won't force you to sit through that. Even like... Do I throw on a TV show and just put it on speed up? Maybe. I don't know. I am inclined to do so, but no. But wait. Wait. I'm missing one. I'm missing a piece. This kind of did not make sense to the box. So we're going to have to put this back. This comes back up. This comes back up. Back up. Like so. And this is going to go into here somewhere, which I guess goes underneath this maybe. It goes in here. And we're going to pop this down again. Pop this down again. And then pop this down again. All done on the tray. Let's go ahead and do six more of these. So, I'm gonna pop this over here, and let's grab number six, number five. Anyways, Vindication. Vindication, Ooh, what's this? More pieces, more overviews. Are these meant to be player aids? Let me see. I'll do the player aid stuff later. I think there's probably are player aids. So we have map regions, one, two, three, four, five. How many of these trays do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so fine. So we're gonna go ahead and dump a player aid in you for each of you as well. I'm gonna give one of these player aids to each of these people. So we're gonna start putting those into the boxes. I don't know if this is to go in the box or on top of the box. For the sake of myself, I'm gonna put them into the box and see if that works. And if it does work, then great. And if not, then fine. It seems to work. So let's go ahead and do number two. Number two, this one should go a lot faster than that number two. So we're gonna take these three over here, pop one over here, one, two over here, a little assembly line style. These three are going to require their specific uh, colors, which is going to be the blue one. Blue one has the um, the star sigil, kind of the star situation. I'm going to pop this into here, pop that into here, and then grab the star situation and pop that into one of these guys. Put it into there. We need our little blue pings over here. One, two, three, four. We're going to need our blue thing down there, and then the star one over here. So star on top of that, and star on top of this. And that goes in there. Then we also need to grab our little bag of blue stuff, which is in this bag over here. Going through here. And just dumping them all in there. And spreading it out like so. That's going to be that. When we're done with that, we go ahead and grab this. Put it back on top. Put the... We need these over here. We need our blue ones from these. Which I think are both of these. Probably. Maybe. This looks bluish. Bluish enough. Uh, one will go on top. So we need one of these. I feel like I'm missing something again. Yes, I'm missing something. I'm missing our this and this. See, look at that. That's the problem with haste makes waste. We need to toss these into the side. That goes in there. And then we're going to put this. We're going to put a play raid on each on top. Which, again, I don't know the exact order of that. But I'm going to just assume it goes on top of there because I don't want to bend the play raids either. Map region, map region. And then this goes onto it on top. No, I wanted those under. I wanted these under. I think. Did I? No, I don't think I cared because this is going to go on top like so. And you'll never see them anyway. There we go. That's number box number two. So, making progress. Anyways, now that I've gotten this down to a little assembly line. Ish. I'm a little scared. Because there's like a lot of trays. We'll figure out the rest of this together. Anyways, I am excited to dive back into Vindication. It's been too long since I played this game. And by too long, I mean I probably played it like three months ago. But that, that for this game is too long. Some games, I don't care how often I play them. That's not true. If I own a game and I like it, I want to play it all the time. But some games, I know I won't play all that often. In the case of this one, it's one that it's one of the games that I want to play all the time. I don't remember if it was my top 10 this year. It may have slipped down to number 11. That's not a criticism of this game, honestly. It's just there's always new games coming out. Anything that holds its own at all, if you stay, and like I've heard Tom Vassell say this before, and I completely agree with him, but any game that stays at its mark is actually technically going up. Because games all around you are constantly going up. So a game that holds its own really means that it's holding its own above the tide. It's managing to, to stay afloat in a, in a board game market full of amazing games that keep coming out and keep tempting us in different ways. So yeah, I agree with that principle. I agree with it very much. I think that this game, the fact that it continues to stay where it is, is a testament to how much I enjoy it. 
and let's put this here. I think this one's a faster tray. But anyways, that's as far as, as, as this. And so Chronicles is one, I do want to dive into Chronicles. I do want to see what it adds to the experience for me, how it mixes things up, if it mixes things up. Maybe it won't, I don't know. Who's, who's to really say as far as how things will go there? But I am intrigued by it at the very least, and I certainly do want to dive down into it and see how that goes. And let's put there a little player aid situation here. Uh, as far as when I dive into this, I don't know, but it does, they do have a game. I think they have this on board game, on Tabletopia, if I'm not mistaken. I believe they have a copy of, of the game over on Tabletopia that you can play there. And I'm not as compelled to pull this one out on Tabletopia. It's one that I think I'm willing to play, but I think I'm more of an in-person player for Vindication. It's the nature of what the game is. But as far as if you're wondering what the game is, let's go ahead and do a quick overview of what Vindication is for those who don't actually know. But Vindication is a thematic euro effectively although less on the theme part although chronicles is designed to to address that chronicles is specifically designed to make it so that there's more theme set part in a game that was otherwise lacking theme uh, but vindication at its core is a puzzle about how to optimize resources that's what it comes down to you're going to be having a map that spreads out on the table in front of you and slowly unfolds and your goal as players is to try to find the patterns of how you can get the relics the companions all the things you need to score as many points as possible I've very much enjoyed playing this game quite a bit over the years I've had it. It's one of those games that I constantly come back to and never regret the time I spend with it, uh, which is good because I am a bit of a board game snob and I very, I'm very i very particular about all the games I pull out and play. This does not go nice, nice and tight. This one's not... That one's a little tighter, but we'll see. Anyways, as far as the games I play, I tend to be very particular and keep coming back for the best of the best and getting rid of the ones that are merely okay. And in the case of Vindication, every single time I play it, I'm like, this is the best of the best. This is one of those games that I absolutely want to dive into all the time and just continue to play. But you're constantly moving around the board. You're trying to find the locations you need, and you're trying to puzzle out what you what's going to help you the most in the engine. The board develops as you play through the game. So you have these various locations. That's where this little player made aid of all the map regions comes in, uh, comes in because it's showing you all the things you can do. And you have to figure out what, what locations are you going to uncover, what's being a part of the puzzle, and then what can you combine so that you are most efficient at playing through that puzzle. That's what it is. It's just giving you a bunch of stuff and you have to find your way through it. Uh, I The base game is what I've primarily played and the base game already has more content than I'll ever really dive into just because there's so much, so many ways you can mix and match stuff in this game. What is this piece? That's an interesting piece. That's not what I know, but I'm assuming the pieces don't have printing on them. Although I do know, I do know that Vindication put out something about how they're sending out like an update pack or some sort of release situation. I, I don't remember exactly what it was, but I believe there was some sort of printing error or something. I don't know what it was necessarily. I don't know how it factors into, well, these pieces and whether there's something missing here or not. But I'll find that out, I'm sure, as soon as, well, things show up. Anyways, let's go ahead and put this off to the side put these off to the side, and now in a second, we're going to have to go to the next part, which is where we figure out where everything else goes, because I finally figured out this stuff once I punched everything, but it doesn't mean I know where everything else is, and I do need to figure out where everything else goes. I do like these player trays, though. They are nicer and larger than the last ones, because they have to account for more things, because there's expansion stuff going on here. Like this old tray over here, I think this is, oh, this is nice. I like that. This tracks your actions. This is nice. So basically, in the game, in Vindication, you have these actions, and this lets you track, did you take it or did you not? So it's a quality of life improvement that just keeps track of your actions for you because of the various things you can do in the game. I like that. That's cute. I don't know why I said cute. I have a tendency to say cute when what I really mean is that's awesome. But anyways, let's go ahead and dump this in, dump this in, put the cover on, and now it's time to puzzle through the next thing that we don't know how to do. Because we finally figured out how all this stuff works. We're going to take a sip of my coffee, continuing card boxes. Okay, so Vindication... If we look over here, if we follow this arc here, then we have the bottom. We're going to put down two of these packs into the core box. So we're going to slowly rebox everything as we go through this. We're just going to do this together. That's what it's going to be. I know you didn't sign up for this. I appreciate you sticking around. We're going to go ahead and put this over here so you can see. And then two of the faction boxes are going to go into the center divot there. Then this is going to come out of the way so we can continue seeing what's next. On top of that, we're going to need the main player board, which will go into there. So we're going to put the main player board into there. This is something that always never really worked quite as well in the um, original box, the way it kind of laid on top of cards. I didn't love it. And then on top of that, we're going to have two card boxes. So you can see over here, we have the two card boxes. I think we're going to deal with the cards later. I think we're going to try not to heavily go into the cards now, which maybe it's a mistake. I don't know. Let's see what we got. We have 12 card community pack. We have... Community pack, community pack, community pack. We have just a bunch of packs of stuff. I don't know how we want these stored necessarily. 
We have some promos and some things. What do we have? Night of the Broken Traditions. We have the Scribe Spotlight. Oh my gosh, so many things over here. The Town Pundits. I know these. These are just promos you can get from the game. I'm curious what's in this one. What's in this promo pack? Okay, we got this, 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 this. Impunity, Humility, Rome. Just so many, so many promos here. Whatever, we'll deal with this later. We'll deal with the various promos later because, well, I want to go into this, but I don't want to get sidetracked. So I'm going to put all these in here. We're going to put this on top. We're going to put these in here like so. And that means these can go in here like so, which I think works just fine for now. Okay, so we did it. We, we, we kind of reconstructed the, uh, the pack for right now. We're just going to put the cover on this, and we'll go through cards later. I don't want to get too sidetracked or bogged down. I do like this significantly more than the original one, just by almost necessity of what they're doing. Now this over here, this is the card box, card dividers, card holders, snacks. I mean, I guess this holds snacks. Once you put everything else into the other containers, this would hold snacks. So this is a future card box, let's say. Let's let's put these off to the side and figure out where everything else is going in the meantime. But you know what? Honestly, I think I'm going to put the card box in shortly because we have everything else stacked on top of this. I don't want to spend time rearranging things. So I'm going to put this off to the side, this off to the side, and this is a reminder to be going over there. We'll come back to that later. And now let's try to figure out what goes into the... Um, Let's do the, the table tray. Table tray looks like it has, like, has a lot of things over here. So this table tray is going to be most familiar to you who've played the base game. This is where we're going to start putting all the various tiles as well as the various objectives, things you're trying to get. I'm knocking tokens down over there. That was unintentional. We'll come back to these, just knocking these down. This happens when you poorly stack things in small little piles. But we're going to put these at the center over here. We're going to have these into all the sides. Now, there's a few ways you could do these. What you're actually supposed to do is you're supposed to do like this because this is based on player count. So this will give you the, this lets you pull out based on player count what you need. Just pull out a stack for each one. It's actually not always the way I prefer to do it, but it's kind of the way you have to do it, at least if you're putting it away, because they only give you four divots to put things in. I'm gonna top, top that, top that, and then like so, now we have these. Each of these goes into here, and then you can just draw, based on player count, what you need from the game. I believe it's always the number of players minus one, I think, I can't remember. But either way, those go into here, which means in these two piles, we need, stuff. It looks like we need these in one pile. I think. I can't tell what we need in those. Map regions, all. Metal token triggers, four. That's going to be here. Mastery tiles, six. Proficiency tiles, 24. Base attribute and monster dice, two. That's going to be these over here. Round crystal tokens, 20. I don't know the round crystal tokens go. Probably in one of these trays. I have to figure this out. So the round crystal, does it show us another view? I don't think it does. It's not showing me another view, which is unfortunate. Because that means I'm going to have to guess what goes where. There are options here, which we'll figure out shortly. Anyways, round crystal tokens, round teleport tokens. So the round crystal tokens are probably... I don't know where they are. I don't know where they are. Round crystal tokens, 20. Round teleport tokens. Hmm. I'm not entirely confident where these things go. Crystal tokens and teleport tokens. Black treasury blocks, all. Let's go ahead and put the black treasury blocks into one of these trays over here and figure out the rest of this shortly. Hmm. Black treasury blocks. Although we have two stacks of these, which I think we should go ahead and dump into here. Because for, for want of a better, whether they should or shouldn't, I'm putting them into this pile over here, hoping that that's the right move, but not confident that's the right move, but it is what it is. We have our base attribute, our round crystal tokens, our round teleport tokens. I'm gonna have to look what those are in a second, because I don't know what the round teleport tokens are. Oh, this is five of them. No, I'm not, I'm not confident. I'm not confident. Five. That's going to be these over here, aren't it? Or it's going to be these, I think. These are going to be the round teleport tokens, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to put those in here. Let's say, so we got the metal, we got the round crystal, and then we need to grab, gather black treasure clocks, octa octagonal attribute tokens. That's going to be 15 of them. That seems like the wrong number, because I have these over here. Octagonal attribute tokens. So we might just go back here and start looking through some tokens, some some things over here. Here we go. Here's our loaded box content. So we should be able to find these over here. We have our renowned tokens, enchanted acorns, octagonal attribute tokens. 15 octagonal attribute tokens, 20 round crystal tokens, and five round teleport tokens. Okay. That's gonna be what we got there. So if we need the 15 octagonal, the 20 round crystal tokens, that's gonna be these over here. So these are gonna go into this tray. So I'm dumping these into here, because that's the other one thing you need. 
The 15 on the other tokens is throwing me off because I don't see 15. I see two. Oh, interesting. There's those. Okay, I see what's up now. So we're going to put these somewhere as well. So I don't know where they're necessarily going to go because of how these are situated. But we'll toss these into here, let's say, and hope for the best. And put these in there. And then that way, these can all go into here. Toss those. And that mostly works-ish. I say mostly works because it doesn't actually work. But we can figure it out. I'm going to toss some of these in here, and we'll do the rest later. So that's what we got there, which means now we need to actually put the map regions. All the map regions need to go in here. This is where we're just going to take these and start putting them into here as well, as much as we possibly can. Hoping for... This is where it's tricky, because some of these are going to be expansion content, and I don't really want to mess up and mix things in together. So we're going to try to keep this as localized to base game content here as we possibly can, and then put the expansion stuff in on these other ones on the side. We'll have to figure out exactly how it all fits together later, because I guarantee you right now, this is just... I mean, this is fine. We got these for the base game and these for the expansion, so it mostly works. If we can try to take these out of here so that those are completely separate, then it's even better. That works. That works just fine. Okay, that's going to be tray one. Tray one is done, I believe. I'm going to put this over here, and we're going to go ahead and load this into the core box. That's going to go into the center, and we're done with tray one, which means it's time for tray two. Tray two is... I mean, things are slowly moving away, which is the good part. We're going to do the uh, Leaders and Villagers tray, maybe. No, we're going to do the Chronicles tray. Rest assured, I have no idea what I'm doing. The Chronicles tray looks like it's going to be this area here. Now, I don't know what happens here. Chronicles Firewind Festival board. Chronicles event boards. So we're going to need these here. Chronicles, Chronicles, Chronicles. We have our five paths. We have our event boards. That's going to be these. Okay, event boards go on top of that. Am I even doing the right tray here? I don't think I am. We're going to be doing the other one. We're going to be in this board over here. The Hamlet boards. Leaders and Villagers board. So we're going to need to put the Hamlet boards in here, which is going to be the six guild leaders, Villagers, Hamlets, Hamlets, Hamlets. Are there Hamlet boards? I guess there's these. These are the Hamlet boards. One village board, two Hamlet boards with corresponding region tiles. That means this has to go over here. If you look over here, this is going to go into here. The Hamlet boards are going to go into the bottom, like so. On top of the Hamlet boards, we have to put something. But I don't know exactly what's going to go on top of them. We have to put our... This is going to go on top, like so, at some point. Maybe like this. I don't know exactly how it's going to go in. But probably like this, because it shows me. Okay? And this is going to go on top like this. That's how that's going to go at the end. But we're going to come back to that, because we still need to put other things in. We have our dice over here. That's going to be these two dice are going to go in. And put these dice in here. They're going to go into this tray. In fact, I probably just could do it like this so you can see at the same time. And then we're going to take these dice and roll them into the top of the, the grid over here. Along like so. That gives us a bunch of dice up there. But we also need to put some other stuff here. We have a triangle tile, which is going to go over here. And we have some stacks of things, which will go here. So we have Forgotten Isle Board, our Forgotten Village Board, our 12-sided Attribute Dice, our Mercenary Standees. We're going to need these going into here. Something's going into here, but I don't know what goes in there. I can't see what it is. I'm going to put these into here. And I think we're slowly, slowly going through things. I don't know where these can go, but I'm going to dump these into the middle for right now. And then we need stuff over here. Enchanted Acorn Tokens. Those need to go in here. But where do we put the Enchanted Acorn Tokens? I can't tell. I think the Enchanted Acorn Tokens go in here. I think. I could be wrong with this, but I think that's what it looks like. We have something that goes over here, which is going to be this piece there. And then we have Rune Map Tokens, Triangular Portal, Alternate, Attribute Master Die, Spirit Fire Tokens, Spirit Fire Tokens? What's Spirit Fire? I'm curious about that. We have 12-sided Leader Dice, Mercenary Standees. I think that is mostly fine. The part I'm missing is we probably need these two standees. Oh, these two with their black pieces over here. Okay, so I got those. I got where you guys go. I, fi I figured it out. I figured it out. These are going to go onto these and then into here. So we got some some progress. Okay. And then past that, we have some other things. We have the map tiles. We have treasure pack. We have the four rune map tokens. And I think that's it. We have a village cloth, cloth bag, which is from the other box, which I'll grab later. So I'm going to toss these into here. And then this goes into here, I guess. Probably. Yep, I took these out of the way. Let's move these to drop. 
and then we can leave them on top just in case. I don't know if they have any point or not, but we'll worry about that later. And that's going to be our Hamlet box. That wasn't so bad. Could have been far worse. Which means it's time for the next box. Let's go into the next box, which is going to be the last one, the one I said a minute ago, which is this one is the this box here. So we have to put things on top over here as far as Chronicles tray, which means we're going to need all our Chronicles goodies. Our Chronicles goodies will require... Did I put Chronicles boards? I put Chronicles boards on top of those things. What did I do wrong? Villages and leaders and alliances boards. Guild leader boards. Leaders and alliances content. Oh, the leaders should have gone into there. I think I did it slightly wrong there. Leaders and alliances leaderboards. Thanks for those of you who caught that. I messed up. This over here is supposed to have these all out here and these all in here and possibly more let me just go a quick check because i want to make sure the other two boards here that board is chronicles content nope that board is the solo adventure track there's a solo adventure track going here as well it does not look like it does it looks like it goes onto the other board so which means now we're safe now we're done and now we're going to put it back okay and back to the next the next tray Okay, so now they're done with that, things will go in here. Uh, there's going to be some degree of cards here, which I'm not going to worry about because I don't want to. Uh, we'll deal with all the sleeve stuff later, like I mentioned already, which means I care more about the tokens. And to that end, I kind of wish the tokens were in color so I can actually see things going on here, but I cannot, so we're just going to make the best we can out of the situation. We're going to put a bunch of these tokens here. I just wonder how these go. This is what's tricky because I don't know. It doesn't show me a good picture of how it operates. It shows one, two, three. I wonder if it's like that. Are there six? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. There's not five. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't love that. I don't love how this is going here because one, two, three, four, five, six. These could go in here, but I don't know. So this basically, I don't know how this actually operates as far as how these things go. So I'm going to go ahead and just dump these things in. I'm going to go ahead and deal with it. So I'm going to dump some of this stuff in here. I'm going to come back and look at it later. We'll figure out the exact details. But I'm going to put these over here on this side. I'm going to put these over here on this side. Because it looks like they can all go there. They look like they, they fit decently. I'm going to put some of these tokens in the middle. Into there, like so. We have a bunch of standees over here. Oh, interesting. I wonder how these operate. These, I think, are supposed to be given standees. And I believe, I'm guessing, based on how they look, that these go onto here like so. That's what I'm guessing. But I'm not confident in that. And to that end, we're going to pop these into here for now and look at these later. See, there's problems. There's five, there's six locations for those, and there's only five of these, which has me thrown off just a tad. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and do this. So we're going to put one, two, three into here. One, two, three into here. I'm not missing any boards, am I? I don't think I am. We're going to go ahead and toss these in. There's even less of other ones. I don't even know what I did. I think I lost some of their... Did I go... Nope. We're all good, I think. Maybe. Okay. Anyways, we're done with that. We're done with that. We're going to put these into here. And again, I, I some of these things, I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'll clean it up later and figure out exactly what goes where. These are all tokens. I'll toss in here. And then these will go in here on top of there, like so. And that will be enough for right now. And then this... We'll go, the Soul Adventure board goes on top of there. Which, that's interesting, because that doesn't feel like it goes on top of there. It says it goes on top of there, but it doesn't feel like it goes on top of there. Just the way this lines up. It feels like it rests on top. I don't love that. Is it supposed to go on top like this? No. See, this over here, on this side, clearly says the Soul Adventure board goes here. But it feels like if it goes here, then this won't close properly, and I don't love that. I mean, it closes, but it feels like it's pushed down on top. But we'll deal with it right now. We'll deal with it for right now and figure out the rest later. Anything else this goes with? This goes on top there. I think we're fine. I think we're fine, at least for right now. Anyways, this will go on top. There's a little bit of a bulge. I don't like it. I don't like it. We're going to take it out. I don't think it's supposed to go like that. I mean, it says it's supposed to go like that, clearly. But it doesn't feel like it actually fits if that is indeed the solo adventure board. Am I looking at the wrong solo adventure board? Is there another solo adventure board? That's solo adventure track. Is there a solo adventure board that is different? I'm not confident. There's character sheets. 
I'm not confident. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and call it there. We're going to continue putting these things into the box and hope it all fits in as we go through it. And they, they give you a lot there. My, my challenge here is only one of trying to be mindful of, you know, doing an unboxing slash reboxing on camera where I barely know what's going on. That is a trickier uh, thing to juggle in general. So we're going to put this in. I'm going to move this down here. So you can check this out. Let's put this down. This is what's going on here. I'm just going to start putting this into the top and hope it all works because I don't know what's happening. I'm putting this in here, this in here. These are going to go in here as well. Oh, oh, these have to go on top somehow, don't they? They have to go on top. This has to go across the top, doesn't it? Or does it go like this? In fact, it probably shows me in the book, doesn't it? Let's take a look at the last page. So if we look at that last page here, those three go on top, on top, just straight across the top. Okay, so it is what it is. We're gonna put these in here, in here, and these are the tricky part. I'll have to figure out where these go exactly. And this can go under here, go along the edge here. And these can go underneath this box. And maybe it all fits, we'll find out soon enough. I think it all fits. It all fits. At least for right now. We're going to go ahead and put this on top of it. Ugh. And I will sleeve this all later while watching some sort of TV show. This is not the unboxing I expected. I'm sorry. This is the this is a little chaotic. A little chaos. A little all over the place. There's a lot more stuff. This became a, an assembly video instead of an unboxing video. Which maybe you find helpful. I don't know. Alternatively, Ona put up their own video. shows you exactly what to do. In a more, more certain of what they're doing manner. This video will probably still go up, but it's not my usual um, not my usual jam as far as my unboxing and ramblings. I think I was a little too focused on getting the job done, and a little less focused on actually, um, well, talking to you, which I feel a bit bad about now. But I will sleeve all this stuff later. I will have fun with this game. I do like Vindication quite a bit. Until next time, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. Thank you for bearing with me through all that. And until next time, I hope you have a good one.